Hi, this is Gil. Happy Father's Day to all of you dadas out there. Today is June 16th, 2024. It appears to me that I found more VHSs and DVDs lying around. I mean, I, I had them at the attic there. I mean, I, in that in that clear bin up there. That one. Man, I sure have a lot of DVDs and stuff, and I have a shitload of these DVDs still. And then all of this over here, I put all the doubles in here, in this bin here. And then I already wrote, wrote down what's in these bins, like this, VHS camcorder, my, like, vintage items. And then it's all different items, you know, and then bike-related, and then, you know, like, some toys, Rubik's Cube collection, and things like that, I mean. Well, anyway, see these glasses? I got them at the 99 cent store. Uh, before the 99 cent store died. So, I think it's dead now. So I'll try them on. One. Kind of similar to the Barker brand glass that I got. Here's another one. This is just a fraction of the fraction of the glasses I have. I paid like a dollar for each of these. I got like maybe 20 more of these like lying around. I feel like this is like this, these are something that I like. I like these best. That's me. I'll just wear it right now. So I hope all of you dadas are having a good Father's Day. Like I want to have. I want to have a good Father's Day today. We're probably going to go to a restaurant today. Maybe like one of those um, Outback. Or I'll probably just go to any regular restaurant today. My wife wants to take me out for Father's Day. Telling you. I'm going to put the glasses back on. Again. Well, you got to check this out. I mean, this, um, uh, there's, there's the sticker thing. The sticker for this edge when we bought it. You know, we paid $5,000 for that edge last year with taxes and everything, you know, smogged and everything, you know. Because when I went to the DMV, like, um, it was like $5,000 total, like, to, with taxes and to get it in our name and everything. So it's not a bad price, but look at the price of when this thing was brand new, when this was new. Yeah, dang, you know, like, they, they, like, look at the price that it was. Damn, 39, almost $40,000, man, shit. I mean, that's kind of an insane price for just a car, just to have a car, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't like to sound like, like a, uh, I don't like to sound negative about it, but for the company or anything, but it's kind of an insane price to pay for just so you can have a car, I mean, come on, man. Yeah, I mean, it's just, the, I mean, that's the way it is. I mean, that's the way it is. I mean, I think it's even more expensive in today's times, you know, like, dang, I mean, but car, I mean, these are all the interesting features that it has. That thing went. So, yeah, this is all the features. It has all these features. You probably might want to. And then, you know, and then there's like the added Features like panoramic sunroof and navigation and all that stuff. <laughs> Thirty-nine thousand dollars, damn. But we paid five thousand dollars, yeah, last year. And even crazier, like if we were gonna sell it, I mean, we probably would have like we would have taken thirty-five if we were desperate. Thirty-five hundred dollars, imagine that. But even if we would have. Even if we were to take $3,500 for this edge, we would have only lost $1,500 in the valley in the year that we had it for. I mean, we would have, but I'm not going to sell it anymore. So, I mean, imagine that. But imagine whoever bought this edge when it was new. Imagine whoever bought it brand new. Well, probably they didn't even pay that much, but even then, you know, a year later, if they would have wanted to sell it a year later, they probably would have lost $15,000 instead of... <clears throat> well, I ran out of gas on my phone, or actually, I just ran out of memory on my phone, you know, like, sometimes it could be, sometimes it could be, uh, I mean, 
real pain in the butt when, when things like that happen because when I run out of space and then I have to go through the trouble and I mean I probably will need a phone with more storage or something you know because anyway so I'm using my um, Sony um, cam so yeah I'm gonna walk a little bit <clears throat> so today we need to talk about this anxiety thing and all like I know that I know that it seems to me that I have to put on the sunglasses because that's gonna make me squint because it's bright out here right the person that's talking telling me to close my open my eyes well it's kind of bright out there you know so I mean I have to squint my eyes you know like that's why I have to have my glasses but anyway so anyways so yeah I mean anxiety I mean here's an update I'm still getting those I still get those here and there and in fact I had one just a couple days ago and this anxiety lasted like um it lasted me about maybe two days because it was like a feeling like I'm anxiety while well, I was having anxiety and but the the thing that it was making me feel is that I was like feeling like I'm um something is wrong with me and I and I feel like I'm gonna pass out like it's this always happens with anxiety when I have a severe anxiety it always happens to me I mean I'm 54 years old 53 and then but now does it make me worry because I don't have insurance anymore well not necessarily you know why you know why it doesn't make, make me worry because it's happened there's all this kind of things happened to me so many times like where I feel like I'm gonna die you know like anxiety like the way it makes me feel because like it feels like I'm blacking out it's always that always happens and that's why I'm not really all that nervous because I know that I know that it's, it's just playing around again it makes like the feeling I get it always feels like I'm blacking out like I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling I'm weakness or tiredness I feel like I'm so tired but mentally it's more like mentally like but then I could see it in my mind I could feel it that it's more like a mental thing it's like I feel like the way I could explain it is like it feels like a mental overwhelm or something that, that that's what I feel because I can sense it that that's what's going on I mean I'm that, like that's what I feel like I'm sensing it but I don't really and then of course I feel achy everywhere super achy everywhere and then I'm thinking that something's wrong with me and I think I'm developing a cancer or something like <laughs> I mean I, I get that all the time I always wonder I mean I think I'm gonna have a can I think I'm having cancer or something and then and then I'm here having aches everywhere and then aches on my like I was aches in this part of my face but that happens here and there but I mean but then aches everywhere joint pain and then you know all that stuff you know but and then and then I that's anxiety I mean I'm feeling anxiety I mean but I feel like that that's what it is I mean the tiredness and stuff like and then I feel like you know what I feel like it is I think I feel like it's a uh, hormone um, imbalance or something you know that's what I think it is but this hormone imbalance that I think it is it, it's causing me to feel this tiredness and it's causing me to feel like I'm, I'm blacking out like and then of course I don't know like I know I had a, a vitamin D deficiency one time or another but but whether I have a deficiency or not I do know that so many at random times I always get these um I always get these like feeling like I'm blacking out and I always feel like I'm gonna I want to throw up or I, what do we call that like and it's not like a nausea fe feeling but it's like it feels like I'm blacking out and then and then well it's like it's I feel like it's just a straight out overwhelming in my mind feeling you know like 
but but the, the result is feeling blacking feeling like I'm blacking out like I'm going unconscious and then and then I get all worried about it, and then I get scared and then I get all like anxiety I get a lot of anxiety and then at some points I feel like I'm about to pass out I mean yeah yeah I still get that I mean I still get that stuff but but when when I go through this session of it, I mean, I already kind of know him. I already know that it's anxiety because right now I feel perfectly fine, <laughs> like always, like all the time. I feel perfectly fine right now. I mean, after all this ordeal. But what's weird in me is like I'm gonna have an episode. I'm gonna have a session of it. Sometimes you know, like I can go a week feeling really great, and then suddenly. I could start feeling the blacking out feeling and then this blacking out feeling or this feeling of anxiety can last for probably a couple days. It can last a couple of days and then I get kind of like all tired and I, and I just I want to I just want to sleep it off. I feel like that that's what I want to do. And then, but then I mean and then you know the other day I wanted to go take a ride. Well, you know what, it's like, I mean, I decided to just go see about, like, see if I can roll out something. And I went ahead and rode my bike for about an hour. And my energy was perfectly fine. No problem. And I was thinking that maybe something's wrong. And, like, if I feel like something's wrong with my energy, then there's something wrong with me, you know, but... But the thing is, and my energy was perfect, you know, I don't, I don't feel physically tired or anything, but it's just mentally tired, I feel like. I just feel extremely mentally, but I'm not physically tired. I mean, I can ride the bike 10 miles and, and, and I, it's not going to tire me, but I'm just so mentally tired. That's weird because I feel like that I don't want to get out and do anything when I have this anxiety, you know, like... But I was having a little bit of depression, a little bit, but, but even though I did tell you that I don't have it anymore, I really don't have it, depression anymore. I'm not having the issue anymore. But anxiety, I still have it. I'm still getting anxiety, I mean, so, but I mean, but every time I have the anxiety, it's always gonna make me feel this way. It's always gonna make me feel like my, I'm blacking. Now, I used to get a lot of that at my job. When I was working, well, I get it at all all hours of the day. I mean, I get it at all all hours or all days of the year, at random time. But you know, it it fluctuates. Like on some days it's good, and on other days it's like that, and then it goes back to being good. It's kind of like a what do we call that? Mood swings. I feel like that's what it is. I have mood swings. But I mean, apparently, and I. But the number one thing it always makes me feel is that I'm feeling like something is wrong with me, like something seriously, physically, or health-wise wrong. I feel that it's always making me think that I have a serious condition and that, that I'm gonna die from it. It always makes me feel that way. Always does that to me. I always like to play around like that with me. But right now, I feel fine. But two days ago, I was feeling like I, I, I might need to go to the doctor and shit. Well, not like, but I kind of already knew that it's this, the anxiety for one thing. And the other thing, I wouldn't even want to touch the idea of going to a doctor because that, that would end me financially. If I was going to see, even just to see a doctor, that would end me financially. <laughs> yeah, game over if I have to see a doctor right now because... I would, have, I would have to sell out the mortgage to see a doctor for one day, the way it is, the way this, this thing is. And yeah, so anyway, so anxiety. I feel fine right now. I feel good, but like I said, two days ago, I mean, I was feeling like I'm, I was getting like, well, the most common thing I say I get is like feeling like I'm losing consciousness, like blacking out. Like if I feel like I'm not getting enough oxygen in myself and I'm blacking out, you know, like, but I, I, I cannot really find out what it is because I've never been able to find out what's going on. I've, the doctors before were never able to t 
duplicate what's going on in me. And I mean, I, I go to the doctors so many times to have them check me out, like blood work. I, I, I did that so many times and they never found anything. They never found anything in me, you know, never. And they can never, maybe just a little bit of, uh, maybe a little bit of um, vitamin D deficiency or something, but I mean, and then, um, well, I mean, the only thing they ever really saw was maybe a little bit of elevated high cholesterol, but maybe, maybe you know what I think it might be? It's a medicine. It might be the medicine that could possibly be causing me to, but, but I was having that even before I was taking medicine though. I mean, I think it's a hormone imbalance in me, overactive something in my body or, I, I think it might, it's kind of normal with age. I'm 53. I think that's a normal thing, you know, like if the body is not producing enough hormones, I don't know what, I, I don't know how the body works. But I just know that it's kind of like an age thing. And then I know that some of you, I know Heckler, my brother, was telling me that um, his kids were having anxiety too. I mean, yeah, you know what? Anxiety is such a common thing, man. Very, very, very common thing in the world. I mean, at this point, at every time I have anxiety, I said, I know, I know. I mean, I know what it is. I mean... Anxiety is fine. Just keep up my exercise, and, I, and I'll be fine. I'm, I mean, I had a pretty bad anxiety, and then, but I, I was still having anxiety while I was doing the bike riding. But I mean, it was. I mean, my energy was perfect. I mean, it was perfect while I was having the feeling like I don't want to do anything, like the feeling of laziness in my mind. It was just in my mind, you know, like yeah. So. Well, anyways, I mean, this is like my up. That's my update. I don't know what it'll take to completely rid it. I, I don't think there's really anything we can do, really. I mean, you just have to live with it. We just got to keep our exercises and keep the exercises and just got like keep like maybe talk to somebody or just have your little parties or talk to somebody positive or I mean, just talk uh, just talk about good things and you know, that should help I mean but I'm not having issues with depression but but depression I tend still have it a little bit while well, depression because anxiety is making me feel ugly and that's making me depressed because it's making me feel ugly but you're not alone if you have anxiety you're not alone I have it too I mean I still have that too so yeah I mean and what I would do if you have anxiety, I mean, you just get out and breathe the fresh air. I mean, I mean, for me, I mean, sometimes it's, what do I do on a okay, Well, I just continue doing the things that I like to do. I mean, I mean, like, what can I do? Well, talk to somebody that makes you happy. I mean, talk to someone that makes you happy. I mean, or like the per any person that you have in your life, that person that makes you happy, just talk to that person. Like your, um your um, friend or whatever, your mom, dad, mom, or friend, brothers, sisters, or just somebody out there. I mean, I mean, that's the best medicine right there. Talk, talking to somebody that makes you happy, I mean, about it. I mean, or, or you could just like watch this video and, and be as rest assured that you're not alone because I have it too. I have the anxiety too. And I'm explaining the exact ways I feel every time I have it. So, okay, well, okay. I mean, I hope you're having a good Father's Day. And then, I mean, and I'll see you on the next video. Today is June 16th, 2024. All right, see you on the next video. See ya.